Hi kids. I have been thinking a lot about you guys and I thought maybe a fun story to read is The Three Snow Bears. Can you believe today's the first day of spring? It sure doesn't feel like spring to me. It feels like winter. That's why I thought this would be a great book to read today. The Three Snow Bears. So I'm gonna read that to you and I'll show you the pictures and you listen. Thanks for joining me in my living room. And here goes our story. See, this is our cover page. Three Snow Bears by Jan Brett. That's the author. Let's see, I think this story is a lot like the Three Bears or Goldilocks, the story you might already know. You might think about what parts are the same and what parts are different. All right, here we go. The Three Snow Bears by Jan Brett. Come back, a Loki shouted as her huskies floated out to sea. Oh no! She knew that although an ice flow is a good place to fish, it is a bad place to lose a dog team. Not far away, a snow bear family had just started eating their breakfast, but it was way too hot for baby bear. Look. There's the dog team floating away. And there's the family of bears. Oh, you can see, look at baby bear's face. She's really not happy about the way that soup is tasting. Owee, yowled baby bear. My breakfast burnt my mouth. We'll go for a stroll and let the soup cool, said mama bear. Going for a walk together. There's Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. A Lukey was running along looking for her dogs when she came upon the biggest igloo she had ever seen. Who lives here, she wonders. Oh, this is a lot like Goldilocks. There's the igloo. That's the house the bears live in. A Loki ducked inside. Right away, she smelled something delicious. Across the room, she saw a big bowl, a medium-sized bowl, and a small bowl. Surely the good smell was coming from the three bowls. Look at her face. She's smelling that delicious soup. A Loki took a sip from the biggest bowl. Owie, she cried, too hot. She took a sip from the medium-sized bowl. Ew, too cold. She tipped the littlest bowl and it was perfect. And she drank every drop. Mmm, she said, not too hot, not too cold. Look at her drinking all that. Boy, how do you think baby bear's gonna feel? Baby snow bear when she comes back. They're just out on a hike. They don't know a Loki's in their house. In the next room, a Loki spotted three pairs of beautiful boots standing in a row. She put on the biggest boot. Too big, she said. Look at that, too big. She put on the medium-sized boots. Too fancy, she said. Too fancy. She put on the littlest pair. Just right, she said, wiggling in her toes with the soft fur lining. Look, she put them right on. Perfect, she said. Hmm, what do you think Baby Bear's gonna think about that? A Loki walked into the last room and found a long sleeping bench piled high with fur covers. Heat from an oil lamp warmed her cheeks and made her feel sleepy. Time for a nap, she said. She crawled under the highest mound of covers. Too lumpy, she grumbled. She tried the middle-sized bed 
with the furry fringe cover. But she sank down so far that she could hardly breathe. Too soft, she said. She rolled over into the smallest sleeping place. The furry blanket was cozy and warm, and the pillow was just her size. Just right, Aloki said. And she was asleep before she could take off her boots. Oh, man, look at her. She's fast asleep. Oh, no. I wonder what's going to happen when those bears come home. Let's see. Aloki hadn't fallen asleep fast. Let me say that again. Aloki hadn't fallen fast asleep. If she hadn't, she might have heard her dogs barking happily. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear had spotted them adrift in the strong current, and they went out to save them. The Snow Bear family was pushing the Loki's dog team back towards the igloo and towards safety. Wow, that is really nice of those Snow Bears. They saved her dog team. Gosh, she's asleep. She doesn't even know it. Papa Bear crawled into the igloo and saw his big bowl sitting in a pool of spilled soup. Someone has been tasting my soup, he roared. Mama Bear rushed in and saw her soup had been sloshed around too. Someone has been eating all my soup, she growled. Someone found my soup, said Baby Bear in a high squeaky voice, and they ate it all up. Oh, oh no. Just like you thought, Baby Bear's not feeling very happy about it. Papa Bear ran into the next room and saw his boots in the middle of the floor. Somebody's been trying on my boots, he boomed. Mama Bear put on her fancy boots. Someone had these boots on, she huffed, and the fur is all bunched up. <sighs> Baby Bear saw that her boots had disappeared. Someone's taken my boots and left behind these not good ones. Oh no, how do you think she feels? Look at her face. She's not so happy. Mama Bear is certainly not so happy. Oh wow, look at Papa Bear is really frustrated. Oh man. The bears ran into the bedroom. Someone had been sleeping in my bed, Papa bellowed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, Mama Bear cried. Baby Bear peeked at her little bed and squeaked, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and, and, and there she is! <gasps> oh no! Oh kiddos, what do you think's gonna happen? Oh boy, let's see. A Loki opened her eyes and saw three bare noses only inches away. Oh man, I think I'd be a little scared. She hopped out of bed and dove between Papa Bear's huge furry legs. Oh, she's quick. Quicker than a seal, a Loki ran from room to room until she burst outside. There's her coming outside. Oh, she sees her dogs. Her huskies bounced around barking and smiling and with their doggy grins. They're happy to see her. I don't know, this bear doesn't look too angry. I wonder what's happening. Aluki and her dogs flew over the frozen ice, dodging ridges and cracks. She looked back to wave thank you to the snow bears. She couldn't see them, but she heard a big gruff voice and a medium-sized voice and a squeaky little voice call to her. Look, there she is, riding away on the snow and ice. And the bears. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
V. And, wow, that story really does remind me of Goldilocks. I think about Goldilocks, she went into the bear's house and she ate up all the porridge and she sat in the chairs and she fell asleep in the bed. There's a lot of things that are the same, but there's some that's different. Like a Loki, she had a dog team, that's different. They lived in the Arctic and it's cold there, that's different. What else could be different than the three little bears? Oh, polar bears, that's different too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and I look forward to reading more to you and getting better at reading stories online to you. Have an awesome day and be kind to your family. Make time for calm and make time to play.